Hey guys, so this is like three days vlog combined. I got myself some food I'm gonna eat before I film and then after that I'm gonna chill with a nap. Film, I thought I would do a little mukbang <laughs> on my vlog channel. I'll show you what I got. I'm wearing the same dress. Don't worry, I washed my clothes. I remember back in middle school, this is so random, this one girl named Sarah. Sarah she would keep track of every single person in our school in our grade. This was a grade 7 She would legitimately come up to you and bully you and be like didn't you wear this like yesterday? That is disgusting like that's what Sarah would do back in middle school I didn't have much clothes. I had enough clothes. I'm not complaining. I had more than enough clothes for myself My parents are not gonna buy me a whole wardrobe. I'm in freaking middle school, bro So I remember one time my mom bought me this outfit. It was so cute. It was camel pants obviously and a camel shirt and it said something in like neon pink on it. It was so cute and I wore it one day I got so many compliments on it um, because I loved it so much. I wore it the next day. I didn't care. I don't guess who came up to me Sarah, I came up to my friend Natalie. I'm like Natalie. Why is this gross? Like why is this girl all up in my case? And Natalie's like, I don't know. I think she thinks you're poor and I'm like I was like what the f is this school? So yeah, that's a little story time. Anyway, I'm eating I got some salmon and this looks like a mess <laughs> some pasta and then over here I have it looks like crap, but it's not. It's lasagna made out of eggplant. It's like the greatest thing ever. Here, I'll show you guys. It's so good. It's my favorite. That's what it looks like. So yeah, yesterday I had like not the greatest day. By the way, the salmon is a bit dry, but... I'm so hungry, I don't even care. Kombucha. Comment below, do you like daily vlogs or do you, do you not care that I combine a bunch of days together? Because I feel like some days it's like such a boring day, but I don't want to upload just like a little bit of footage because I myself, when I watch vlogs, I like lengthy, like at least 10 minutes vlogs. I don't like like five minute vlogs. That's just annoying. So let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Can you guess it's my second day here today? And that if you're watching this, this is why I'm late. I mean, I'm... I'm late all the time, <laughs> but today this is why I'm late. I can't put on my bands. I even have this little tool to help me, but it's not helping me. Oh, there you go. We got one in, ladies and gents. We got one in. I can't believe summer is almost done, you guys. It's making me so sad. By the way, guys, I'm trying to get your giveaway going. And I'm thinking instead of doing one huge giveaway, for one person, I'm thinking to break up the, the gifts, not the gifts, the prizes, and have like every day giveaway until all the prizes are gone. What do you think? Comment below. Because I feel like that way you guys have more chances to win and more people get prizes. So guys, Anat is back with me. We went to Roma. She did her stuff, like editing and stuff. And then Waiting, I don't think we got that much done. I got a lot of done. Really? Well, I, got I feel like I slacked a lot more than I wanted But you to. submitted everything you needed to submit. Yeah, but that was not a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I think I got like pretty, like I got today's vlog fully edited. I'm just gonna upload it at home just cause this mm -hmm. internet is no, not. No, you can't upload with this. Yeah. So right now we're going to Vaughn Mills. I'm gonna buy the remaining stuff for the makeover video. Hi guys, <laughs> how are you? How you doing? Yeah, you guys are getting the behind the scenes and yeah, I'm gonna finish buying stuff for him for the makeover video and then Anat, tell us what you're doing. I'm just looking for a bag for a friend who <laughs> wanted to see if we have a bag in Canada that she's looking for. That's kinda it. So fun. Not as exciting as the making a makeover video for my boyfriend. But anyway, we just left on Mills. It was a bit hectic. Where did you go? I don't know, but look, I can't feel my hand. I got so much stuff, but I'm so happy we got everything, everything I needed. And then I got her face cream. Yes. <laughs> and let me tell you, we went into Champs. Yeah, it was Champs. And I showed this guy a Pinterest photo. And I'm like, do you have these shoes? And he looks at me like I'm the stupidest bitch on this fucking planet. And he's like, Try Foot Locker, and I'm like, do you know what these these are called? And he's like, I think those are no, wait. No, he's like, I think you're looking at Yeezys right there. Yeah, 
And I'm like, and I look at him, I'm like, first of all, those are not Yeezys. And second of all, did you really think I thought you guys carried Yeezys? Okay, where's my car? And he just gave me a smirk and I'm like, whatever. <laughs> oh my, I'm like, I know I'm a white, like a white girl, but. And that was also commenting on the fact that everyone's wearing fanny packs and it surprises her because it's such a dad thing. <laughs> I, there's some trends that I'll probably never get. Yeah. On yeah, and then also we went into like this knockoff store that has like all they even have like knockoff Gucci and stuff and Yeah, they had like knockoff. I wanted to show you but you were following the guy and Even they were sold out out of the fanny packs and that was like what the hell <laughs> We're gonna head home now. Rob, look at how oily my face is No, it's just shiny that's a nice way of saying that it's oily. No, not in a bad way. You know, like a, a You're glowing. No, but like a highlight. Yeah, like a natural. Like a natural you can glow. deep fry French fries on my face right now. You know what's Please weird? Be more critical. <laughs> you know what? In high school, my face was so dry, and as I got older, I got like a combo face. That's so weird how it just changes. Yeah. Anyway, now any final words? It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, guys. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, yes. Was a pleasure. We finished filming, finally. This whole day we were filming. And this is the aftermath. We got his sleeve tattoo. And it came out much better than I expected, to be honest. Like, I will repurchase this for myself. <laughs> yeah, right now we're going to head home. It was a productive day. Tomorrow I'm going to edit everything and possibly have the video up tomorrow. I don't know. Possibly. Possibly. Yes. I will try. I will try because I'm really excited about this video. Um, and I have a vlog that I still haven't uploaded yet and just a lot of stuff. But yeah, we're just gonna head home right now. I also did a tattoo on myself, but it came off. So that's the weird part about these tattoos. Like some of them last and some of them don't. Right now we put lotion on his hand and it looks even more realistic, but some of it started rubbing off. So yeah, and he also has a neck tattoo if you guys haven't seen the video. By the time you see this, the video will be up, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to yet another vlog. What it is with vlogging, I'm like recently so into it, you know? Like so into it. So right now, I'm actually starting the vlog very late. It's actually 5 p.m. It is August 20th. It is a Monday. I'm heading to get my nails done because my nails have outgrown themselves and this time this particular time i'm feeling extra like mm. i might go to the mall with ilgar to return some of the clothes that he did not like from the makeover by the way i'm so happy with the way that video has turned out the makeover video if you guys haven't seen it yet i will link it down below it was so much fun and i got a lot of good positive feedback on my instagram and a lot of you guys really enjoyed that video so i'm so happy about that because i put in a lot of effort into it and it's so funny because some people are like saying he should get a sleeve he should dress like this he looks so much better as a hype beast you know what guys I like the way he looks even if he's not a hype beast this was just a video made for fun it's not like a legit thing that i want him to keep doing because to be honest i would not want to date somebody who dresses better than me i love the way he dresses i like the way he looks i don't need him to change or anything like that because that would just make me uncomfortable this was just for fun this was something interesting to do to like completely change somebody's style that was like so funny just got my nails done i got white manicure and this is this is so sad but this is what i call long nails because usually they're so much shorter than this but i got white because it's the end of the summer i thought i'm gonna enjoy some brightness before i go straight into like fall colors guys i really want to get like acrylics but they ruin your nails so badly so i really like I don't know what to do but they look so good but so does this like from afar my nails look pretty good actually right now I don't know I don't know what do you think should I keep them like this and not ruin them because my nail tech she just told me that my nails are looking really healthy than before so if I was gonna tell her hey I'm thinking of I'm thinking of getting acrylic she'd be like Milana no comment below guys what do you think are these too short 
should I go longer? I don't know. But right now, I'm gonna text Ilgar. I'm gonna see what he's doing because he's working still. Guys, I cut my hair, by the way. If you haven't noticed, look at how short. Look at how short my hair is. Not that it's short. I feel like I have less hair. Like, because my stylist, he like... He like does it this way so the volume is fully cut off which I love but I like I miss my long hair now but at the same time dealing with long hair is so annoying so I'm like Ugh. I can't wait to like after I get a cut like this where it's like super short usually grows out really nicely so I'm just waiting for that to happen like I'm like waiting on it okay so this is not the greatest angle but it'll have to do for today so basically there's drama on YouTube and I am never part of drama just because I have like you know I'm not really relevant enough to comment on drama but I thought I'm gonna like put my two cents in and great my camera is fucking this is sign from God and Jesus that I should not be putting my two cents in the remaining of this battery I'm gonna try and put as much sense as I can into the subject probably know who Laura Lee is I never watched her, I never found her videos, like I'm not trying to like bash her or anything, I just never found her videos interesting to be honest. Um, and when it comes to like beauty gurus, I stick to like specific ones, it's like I'm really biased towards them and it takes a lot for me to like a new beauty guru. She was not a beauty guru that, you know, I liked. And it, it's nothing personal to be honest, like nothing personal at all. My thoughts on the whole situation is I think I watched Trisha Paytas' reaction to her and oh my god I agree like a hundred percent to Trisha like whatever Trisha said I'm with her there was like more water coming out of her mouth than her eyes and like I'm not trying to be mean and if you're a fan of Laura's like you know we all make mistakes and just like Trisha said like word for word she should have been more genuine. She should have like explained herself more, but all she did was freaking sob, like sob, you know? And like not explain herself like whatsoever. There was like no explanation. The only thing I heard from her was like, this was like six years ago. And like, bitch, it doesn't matter how long ago this was. Like you need to explain yourself because all I heard was, I'm sorry guys, this was six years ago. Like, no. Sure, like she touched upon uh, Jeffree Star for some reason. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything, but I think if I'm wrong comment below But what I know and what I saw I like glimpsed through it apparently uh, other youtubers including Laura um, They posted a picture and it had something to do with Jeffree Star They like tried to trash talk him or whatever and I feel like this is like one of the biggest dramas of this year like there, there has been a lot of dramas this year but this is like definitely a huge one because there's a lot of people involved and holy f you guys like her channel her unsubscription <laughs> like that is so scary how that can happen like she just hit 5 million and last time I checked she was at 4.6 like she lost so many subscribers that is insane and you know what it's not insane because she up and she didn't like if you go to her apology video she has like 90% dislikes compared to how many people actually supported her on that video no I'm like stating word for word for what Trisha said if you're making an apology video be be genuine explain yourself P show people that you're sorry not that you like cried about it and sobbed about it like that's not an apology that's not what apology videos are about you know what I mean? It kind of made me mad as well. And racism should not be taken lightly. See, everybody makes mistakes and we know this. And we've seen other YouTubers who, you know, had racial dramas up when it came to racism. But like, they apologized and they did it genuinely. You know what I mean? It wasn't just like a sob. She was crying because she was feeling bad for herself, I feel like. She wasn't crying for the people she hurt. She wasn't crying because she was sorry. She should be honest and she should apologize and she should do a proper... There was a comment and this is kind of funny but also kind of sad at the same time. Somebody commented and they're like, will there be an apology video for her apology video? 
And it's like, it's funny, but it's true. It's like, that was not an apology video. You will need a separate apology video for the apology video that you posted, girl. But all I'm gonna say is that like, everybody f***s up, but she f***s up twice. I hope she learns off of her mistakes. Let me know your thoughts on this thing. I'm not a drama channel nor am i planning to be but i just wanted to be part of this conversation i think everyone can have their own opinion on things and you guys can too just comment below um what your thoughts are i'm gonna keep driving to the mall i need to return some shoes i'm i'm blurry again i'm sorry it's still it's not the camera it's the lighting my camera just cannot pick me up for some reason yeah okay i'm gonna stop vlogging because this is just turning into a mess now I'll talk to you guys soon.